Now we talk about, I think the funnest, most fun <coughs> part of this is our heritage as the people of God at Joy Lutheran Church. Since we are free to serve one another, this passage that I'm going to read from Romans tells us what we are as Joy Lutheran Church and what we are called to be and to do. Romans 12, another writing from Paul. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. So what is Joy Lutheran Church? We are the body of Christ created to share the gospel by serving others. Basically, that's what we are. As I looked through some of the items from Joy's history, I noticed that the really, really big events had to do with the building. So we're going to sing about the building, or building. Um, some people might not know this, but it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful um, hymn and gives me goosebumps every time I sing it. So if you don't quite get it, just listen to Craig, because he's got it. <laughs> This is the first oldie but goodie, and it's very dreamy. Can you see it? Do you recognize who that is? In 1971, a call was made to the American Lutheran Church headquarters when the people realized a need for a new congregation to be formed in the city of Prescott. A survey was conducted, and in 1972, the list was given to the ALC Division of American Missions of Minneapolis, Minnesota. On May 22, 1972, the American Missions established the Religious Society of ALC in Prescott. Did you know that you're a religious society? <laughs> Which was called the American Lutheran Church of Prescott. That was the name they gave us. The Society extended a call to Pastor Sherman Iverson in June of 1972 and purchased a parsonage at 1654 Walnut Street. The steering committee was formed and com comprised of Ken Rowan, Gene Meyer, Steve Johnson, Roy Hansen, Bruce Tromberg, 
Cal Tim, Bob Wittenberg, and Russ Jensen. <laughs> they were responsible for the development of the congregation and its needs, the biggest needs being land and a building and a finance. Okay. Do you recognize either of those? <laughs> Who's the one on the left? Ken Rowan, yes. Okay, part two. I've got too many papers. Groundbreaking ceremonies for a 50 by 80 foot building were held on April 29th, 1973. The first building consisted of an office, nursery, kitchen, bathrooms, furnace room, gathering place, and the largest part, the sanctuary and or fellowship hall. A multi-purpose space that was used for worship, potluck dinners, wedding receptions, funerals, Sunday school, etc. Tables and chairs were put up and taken down every week to converse the, convert the space to specific use. This activity became a bonding exercise for the charter members of joy. The first church building, there it is, was built on land purchased from Mr. Borner, who agreed to sell five and a half acres of land to the church for a reasonable price. That purchase showed foresight, as the church has large land area that is used for many things, including the church additions, which have been built since the original building. In 1989, the congregation had outgrown the original building's potential, so an addition was planned to include a 210-seat sanctuary, a narthex, and an enlarged pastor's office. The original portion was remodeled to provide a larger nursery, kitchen, and six Sunday school rooms. Can you imagine all those things in that space? I was trying to figure out how it could have been there, and maybe somebody can tell me later on what was where. It was pretty incredible. And again in 2005, Joy Lutheran Church, through continued growth, realized the need to add additional education space to the new office space, as well as additional remodeling of the current church. Oh, I forgot. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. I think I missed something here. As a result of the fast, here we go. I got ahead of myself. As a result of the fast growth of Prescott in 1986, there was a need to build a larger facility within the next two to five years. The vote to build was passed on April 9th, 1988, under the theme, On Our Way, Read, Joy, Sing. The ground was broken for the new building on April 16th, 1989. I understand using that same um, thing that Ken and Sherm were using as some kind of a plow, but that, they used that for this groundbreaking also. The new building, let's see, under the leadership of Pastor Tim Peterson, a building fund campaign for the new building was launched, and on Sunday, June 25th, 1989, the cornerstone was laid, and the new building was dedicated on November 5th, 1989. How many here remember that day? Oh, cool. I love it. Now, again, oh, I found this just floating around in a box of stuff, and I just had to throw it in. It, that's what we looked like at one time. It's like just the skeleton, no skin. Again in 2005, Joy Lutheran Church realized the need to add additional education space and new office space, as well as an additional remodeling of the current church. Under the leadership of Pastor Norm Belland, Another building fund campaign was launched under the theme Growing with Joy. As a result of that campaign, building began in the spring of 2007 with a dedication of the new edition held in December of 2007. 
Joy Lutheran Church is grateful to God for its many blessings. We are also thankful to the many members through the years that have helped to make Joy the church it is today through prayer, witnessing, and relying on God to lead us. Our mission is to continue to grow and spread God's word and serve others here in Prescott and throughout the world. Now here's just a really quick rundown of dates. 1972, Pastor Sherman Iverson begins the outreach in Prescott. The first worship service, I'm going to go back to that one. The first worship service was held at St. John's United Church of Christ. Sunday school and Joy Lutheran Church women and choir began. Six acres were purchased for our church site. I think I said that was five and a half acres. 73, groundbreaking for the first building. And the average attendance is 101. 74, the dedication of the first building. And 79, Pastor Les Walk begins ministry at Joy. 1986, Pastor Tom, Tim, <laughs> Tom Peterson. Pastor Tim Peterson begins ministry at Joy. Joy is a founding member of the Prescott Area Churches Association. Okay, there we go again. 1987, contemporary worship service was added. Wednesday evening fellowship begins meals in 1988. Groundbreaking and dedication for a new building addition was in 19. 89. Bell Choir and singing, the singing group Joy Unlimited started in 1991. Wow. In 1993, the average weekly attendance is 193. Okay. Uh, 97. Pastor Gary Benedict begins ministry at Joy, and that was the 25th anniversary. Did you know this is the 45th? year. This year is our 45th anniversary. 2001, education and youth director added. 2003, Pastor Norm Belland begins his ministry. 2006, Chemisier begins his inter internship. 2007, the dedication of the renovation and expansion project, project. The 35th anniversary is celebrated and the average I'm running out of words here. The average weekly attendance is 195. So you can see how we've kind of grown. 2009, Pastor Amy Fondreich Ike came, and 2015, Pastor Steve Meyer came. So the church is not only a building, the church is people, of course. And this congregation was founded by determined and devoted individuals. So I would like you, if you are a charter member, I won't ask you to stand up, but I'll ask you to put your hand up. How many charter members? Is it just Russ that are here today? Oh, no, the Myers, yes, Johnsons, yes. How many of you were baptized at Joy, if you remember it? Maybe you don't. Confirmed? Yep. Been here for most of your adult life so far? How many have been here for your whole life? Well, actually, we're only 45 years, so you have to be fairly young to say I've been here all my life. <laughs> there are, of course... Yes, 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 your whole life? Oh, yay! <laughs> it's quite awesome. Thank you for pointing that out to me. There are, of course, other things that have brought this congregation to this day. American freedom that makes it possible to start up a new ministry, like Joy. Some places you can't do that. Christian freedom points Joy to the welcoming proclamation of the gospel the forgiveness of sins, and the care and service of others. So we continue to build, and we've got